Welcome back, everyone. Today, we're going to be uh, diving deep into the life of Alan Rachins. That's good. Sadly, he just uh, <laughs> recently passed away. Yeah. So uh, we thought it'd be a, a good time to just sort of yeah. look back on his career and yeah. the many different things that he uh -huh. accomplished. And we're going to be using uh, this article called yeah. A Hollywood Tale of Grit and Glamour. Alan Rachins' Unforgettable Journey. Mm -hmm. it, uh, it details, really, his journey through show business. I'm excited. Um, okay. One of the most striking things about him right away is the amount of variety yeah. in his roles. That's true. I mean, he did yeah. serious legal dramas. Yeah. He did over-the-top comedy, yeah. even a little touch of scandal. Yeah. So uh, I, I think, think it's it would be pretty interesting to trace definitely. the yeah. path of his career. I mean, he started off with the original cast of wow. Calcutta. Yeah. This was a play in the <laughs> late 60s, early 70s. Very, very controversial. <laughs> mess. Full frontal nudity. I mean, people yeah. were shocked. So to think about him in that context and then years later be known for you know yeah. a much more mainstream role mm. of Douglas Brackman Jr. on L.A. Law is quite a leap that's a big change it really is yeah. I wonder what drew him to oh Calcutta in the first place he wants, was it just <laughs> a young actor I'm sure. wanting to take a chance was there something deeper going on something more artistic maybe yeah maybe he was mm -hmm. attracted things that were really pushing the envelope. That could be it, you All know? Right. A little bit. Edgy. Oh, Calcutta definitely was that. For sure. It'd be interesting to know how that early experience yeah. might have influenced some of his later work. Yeah, I'd like to know too. So Douglas Brackman Jr., I mean, that's the role that yeah. really... Made him a star. He was so good in that. He had yeah. this kind of blend of humor, <laughs> I, heart. I remember uh, that, but it was often the comic relief yeah. on that show. But yeah. he also had these moments of real vulnerability. Yeah. That I think really connected with audiences. Absolutely. Interesting. Yeah. Because on the surface, Brackman could be kind of a jerk. He could be a little pompous. Yeah. A little bit. Obsessed with money, but yeah. underneath it all, he was a good guy. Mm. You know, he was trying to do the right thing. I think Braxton's really yeah. brought that out in the character. He really did. It's a credit to a mm -hmm. skill as an actor. I think a -A -A let Brackman become... A caricature, yeah, you know, a one-dimensional character. There was always a lot more going on there. I always thought he had impeccable comedic timing too. I mean, he knew yeah. how to deliver a line, you know, with just yeah. the right amount of dryness to get a laugh. But he also knew when to just kind of hold back and let yeah. the situation speak for itself. That's talent right there. Yeah. So we've talked about his acting, but it's important to remember them that, that he was also a successful writer. That's right. He wrote for shows like Hill Street Blues. And the Fall Guy. Two very different, very popular shows. Yeah. I yeah. mean, it just goes to show how versatile he was as a storyteller. It seems like he had a really good understanding of how to craft a narrative for Russ, television. He did. Yeah. He studied at the American Film Institute uh -huh. under Arthur Penn, who's mm -hmm. a legendary director. Wow. So he had some really great teachers. Yeah. I mean, it's clear. Yeah. Uh, he really wanted to learn. And Brick, his craft. It showed. I think you can see it. And everything he did. One example that comes to mind is his role in Showgirls. Oh, yeah. Now, this was a pretty controversial film. It was. A lot of people didn't like it. But <laughs> it's become this kind of cult classic. That's so true. For him to make that leap yeah. from, you know, being on a, at a TV show. Yeah. To him to something. Yeah. Like Showgirls. It's pretty daring. I think it shows. He wasn't afraid to take risks. Yeah. yeah. His character in that film, Tony Moss, mm -hmm. was really different from the kind of roles that he was known for. Totally different. Played a lot of buttoned up lawyers, you know. Yeah. Serious yeah. guys. Yeah. So Tony Moss is a, a sleazy, <laughs> kind of uh, almost villainous yeah. character. So to see him inhabit that role there. was really interesting. It showed a whole other side of his talent. It seems like he enjoyed yeah. surprising people. I think so. Yeah. And he was married to the actress, Joanna Frank, for over 40 years. Wow, that's a long time. It is. And... They even played the divorced couple <laughs> really? on an episode of L.A. Law. That's kind of funny. I uh, wonder what that was like uh, for them. It really is. It kind of makes you wonder what their sense of humor was like. Yeah, but they had a lot of fun Thank with that, me. I'm sure. So, yeah, Alan Rachins. Yeah. A man yeah. of many talents. Yeah. Who uh, wasn't afraid to try new things. Yeah. To really keep pushing himself creatively. He really did. 
He really did. And I think looking back on his career mm -hmm. kind of leaves us with a question. You know, That's the... if he was so willing to take yeah. on all these different roles okay. and explore these different genres, did he approach life the same way. I think that's a good question. Was he always He's... looking for new experiences, new challenges, right. new ways to kind of grow yeah. and evolve? I mean, that's <laughs> great. Something to think about. It's a great way to look at it. Yeah. Maybe that's the real legacy. Yeah. Alan Rations, a reminder hmm. that life is an adventure. Yeah. And we should approach it without curiosity, without courage, and yeah. a, a little bit of humor. Absolutely. Couldn't have said it better myself. Okay. Well, thanks for joining us on this deep dive into life of Alan Rations. We'll see you next time. See you then on...